Hello friends, this is Akshay. Welcome to you to the new tutorial of devotional study. Today we'll be learning about division tag as I've told you in the previous class. So let's get started. Hello friends, let's learn about division tag today. Uh, and I would say this is the last tutorial of HTML because uh, from the next tutorial we'll be moving towards CSS. Uh, I'm not going to show you more about the tags. I would say let's learn more about CSS that will help our HTML to look better, right? We learn and we'll go on to and then we'll learn few uh, HTML5 tags as well. So. I will definitely gonna cover those topics. Uh, so today, let's start with division tag. So division tag, why I'm using this? I would, I was thinking, let's not use this tag first because uh, this is a, uh, uh, this is somewhere used by CSS. Okay, so I was thinking before, but later on I thought I should cover um, a, 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 I mean, a individual tutorial regarding the. The division tag so here I am so let's save this document first and I'll let you know what is division tag and how we can use this right so I'll save it as div dot HTML right first of all the first thing and let's start with the code so what is division tag first of all let me explain you about it right uh, so HTML division tag is used to group the large section of HTML elements together so that uh, we can combine all the elements together in a single group, okay? We know that uh, every tag has a specific purpose as we have used it uh, so many times. H1 to H6 you have learned, you'll have learned about paragraph tag, quotation tag, there are like a lot of tags we were, have used till now. So so the division tag is just like the container unit which is uh, uh, I would say which which is used to encapsulate or combine other pages and uh, other page elements and divides the HTML document in us into a section right we can create different different sections on a page and we can create divisions on a page so Let's start with the, the practical thing, so that will be easier for you to understand. But this tag is mostly used with CSS because we need CSS in order to uh, present this tag in a better way, right? So that is the reason I was thinking about it and I was thinking to cover it with CSS. But let's start with the HTML division only, okay? So I'll create a div tag here. It's just uh, this it stands for division. All right, so I have created a division and we'll be creating, I would say, let's create a paragraph in a division, okay? So we'll be just typing a te text here. This is a paragraph and I will use an inline CSS here, right? To show you how can we style the particular division. I mean, I'm using this CSS just to show you how it looks like, okay? How it basically uh, looks when um, when we'll run this code. So I will start with border because we need a border to show you how exactly it'll work. So border 1px solid black, okay, right? This is an inline CSS which we are doing here. Okay, I'll give a background uh, color. Okay, let's leave uh, the color here. Let's run the code to better understand. Okay, I'll go to the division tag. This is the one. Let's run it. Let's see. So as you can see, this is the division. As it's using the complete width of uh, the body, let's give a different width as well. Let's give a width so that you can understand in a better way. I'll give a width of 50 percent and a height of 50 percent right okay let's uh, save this and run the code and uh, let's reload the code okay i'm sorry here right so as you can see we have given a 50 percent width of the page right we can give this uh, within pixels as well that is not uh, necessary to be in percentage only. Uh, let's give a, a width of, uh, I would say, 100 pixel. Px, we we will use for pixel, all right? And 200 for height, 200 pixels. So 
So save it and let's launch or reload the code. So you can see we have 100% of 100 pixels of uh, actually the width and the height is 200 pixels. And but make sure I'll, I'll let you know what is this gap is all about. There's a gap on the left hand side on the on the top. It's a it's a it's a by default gap which will be there on each and every document which you'll be learning which you'll be uh, launching but we can reduce that gap we can uh, we can remove that gap as well all right so that that's what we'll be learning in CSS right and this is the last HTML tag which you, uh, I mean the basic HTML tag not about uh, I'm not telling you about the HTML5 tags because there are like a lot of tags are there so this is the division tag we can create different different divisions okay let me show you if I'll go ahead and create a different one more division right with the same styling the same inline CSS I would say in a technical way and I'll create new paragraph for you all right I'll say this is second para that's all all right let's run the code let's see how it works so as you can see just after it it's getting right okay if we want to use it just next to it on the right hand side we'll have to use CSS that's what this division is basically used to create sections so we can see here we have created two sections in a page so the section is basically used to divide or I would say um, create a partition in the page right so that we can create different different sections in a page right so this what uh, I would say let's create a CSS in next tutorial let's start with CSS and learn more about CSS in uh, next tutorial I will I will use CSS 3 most probably right so that it'll give you so you, you don't have to work extra for it okay CSS 3 is the preferred one and we'll be learning about CSS 3 in the next tutorial right I will see you in the next tutorial and if you have liked this video please hit the like button share this video and subscribe the channel and I will see you in the next tutorial thank you guys have a nice day and keep supporting bye bye